How's it going everybody? Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Ahmed and in this channel I do Doctor Who and Tortured reactions four times a week. And today I'm reacting to Doctor Who season 3 episode 9. Martha, such a badass. Datomat, go back to the school. Tell the headmaster. Touch me. You're as bad as dead. Ooh, what? Don't try anything. I don't know what's wrong with him. Maybe he doesn't understand. The... Maybe he doesn't understand the doctor or his visions about the doctor. Martha would go walking to the west. As would apply. They're going to find the the TARDIS. Soldiers, let's go to school. That guy is born for um, for the evil, creepy worlds. He gets it. Clear the school. How is everybody like dressed very quickly? <laughs> they should be in the, like in the pajamas or something. It's what is a silly and hot that can damage and die. That's why we need the Time Lord. Indeed, they were oh. perhaps a little caution. Mr. Phillips, with me, we should investigate. No, but it's not safe out there. Mr. Smith, it seems your favorite servant is giving me advice. You will control <laughs> This is bad. I'm find that watch. <laughs> I'm sorry. Etc. Oh, shoot. Oh my god. Wow, this guy is really villainous. He's part of the best in this season. In the name of the king, we shall stand against them. Yes, Are they gonna shoot their friends? Now that's the question. Some of them will hesitate. How many scares uh scare yeah, scare crow they have. I might have actually said it wrong. Oh my god, they have a lot. Well, I don't think bullets will work on them. Not an alien doctor, a proper doctor, a doctor of medicine. Well, that certainly is nonsense. The women might train to be doctors, but hardly this Ghibli and hardly one of your color. Oh, oh, oh. damn. Well, given his time, their, their time. Father of mine, what have you found? His TARDIS. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. You're with Armitage and Thwaites. They know the drill. I'm doing my duty. But he can, but he can call it, right? There's a way to transform or transport it to different location. I think. Tell me about Nottingham. No, she she, she meant. Like an encyclopedia. <laughs> yeah, she, she meant personal. Adjacent to Hockley Terrace in the district of Bradford Bray. Maybe I was given this watch, so I could help. You took it. <laughs> you, filthy coward. you weren't you giving it. Time. How strong is she? Do you think? Does she really want to see this? Why are you doing it? Why did you open it? Is concealed away in the hands of a schoolboy. Shoot, Doctor, shoot. What is he waiting for? Yeah, the, the, the boys shouldn't have, shouldn't have been there. But, but there is no cause on God's earth that would allow me to see this child in the field of battle, sir. Okay, don't shoot her, Come just... You're funny. Stay away from her. That's right. Uh, take my hand. So funny. Okay. I guess that's that, then. I love how everyone is collected and calm. An They've just seen someone killed, disintegrated, actually. Sir, we should lead the way. And it's on, just like another yeah. guy killed. Not till we got the boys out. I honestly can't see no resolution for this. Um... No. This one. No. Even if he's this even one? if he's back, no. Doctor's back. How is he gonna beat them? This one is that him? Doctor. Doctor. 
The TARDIS, damn it. See, it's real. I'm John Smith. That's all I want to be. John Smith. With his life and his job. Tenant is amazing. Oh my god, man. Isn't he a good man? Yes, he is. Why can't I stay? Damn it, Tenant. He's good. He's really good. What exactly do you do for him? Oh. Why does he need you? Oh. Oh man. Coming from him, though. And that's what you want me to become. That's difficult to hear. I there you go. Is. Finally. You should have never taken hold it. it. I won't. Please, just hold it. Why did he speak to me? Oh, low-level telepathic fields were born with <laughs> sign up again, Yes, that's you. Is that how he talks? That's who you are. And that's him. All you have to do is open it and he's back. Say your goodbyes quickly. He is everything. He's just But you're asking him to me. sacrifice himself. This oh, this John Smith, you're asking him to die. To I hope to God he won't remember me saying this. I do remember. Wow. Is this actually gonna help him open it or make it even worse? Well, they've lived their lives together, I guess, in a way. Did you see? I love how they make it actually a tough decision, a very, very tough decision. I love it. I'm so glad they, th they took their time with us. Because really, it's not easy to do. It's really not. Wait, is he acting or? Please. Still human. What? I can't. I can't pretend to understand. Not for a second. But I want you to know, I'm innocent in all this. It's empty. Now we shall have the lives of a time lord. <laughs> That's a fake. Where's it gone? You tell me. Oh, I think the explanation might be <laughs> for a simple olfactory misdirection. A little bit like ventriloquism of the nose. Yes! It's an element He's of back. Some parts of the galaxy. But it has got to be said, I don't like the look of that hydrocanometer. He wrapped my father in unbreakable chains forged in the heart of a dwarf star. Dwarf star? Is this Marvel? He <laughs> tricked my mother into the event horizon of a collapsing galaxy to be imprisoned there. If ever you look at your reflection and see something move behind you just for a second, that's her. That's, that's creepy, man. Her. Oh, what about you? As for me, mm. I was suspended in time. And the doctor put me to work standing over the fields of England. Now this should be interesting. Oh, this is interesting, really. He was braver than you in the end. That ordinary man. Mm hmm Actually, yeah. You chose to change. He chose to die. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Come with me. Well said. I'm sorry. I would have said anything to get you to change. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course you would. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't really. No, no, no. Good. Fine. Are there anything? Does he have memories? Like, does he really know? And I never said. Thanks for looking after me. You're welcome. I don't know if. Like, he has memories of what happened. If he remembers what, what they said to him, or stuff like that. He could get hurt. Also, well, could you? Travelling around with him. Just like stuck you. <laughs> Tim, Fair play, Tom. I'd be honoured if you take this. You like this? Bit. Yeah, I was just gonna say. <laughs> it will never get boring to see the TARDIS in motion. It's now. Yep, they're dying. Hutchinson, this is the time. It's now. They're gonna die. To the right. To the right. Oh, okay. Oh. Wait, is that Tim? They sleep beyond England's They went He it is. They were young, straight of limb, true of eye, steady and aglow. 
Oh man. That's amazing. All right, so that was my reaction to Doctor Who season three, episode nine. Uh, this is a two-parter um, that I really, really enjoyed. I thought it's one of the best uh, written two-parters ever, so or I should say so far. Straight from the beginning of the two-parter, I love the concepts of having the Doctor um, change who he is. He's not a, a Time Lord anymore. He doesn't have those memories. Uh, he's now John Smith. He's just, he's just a human being, just a regular guy living in England, uh, 1913. Um, he has his own life, his own set of principles and memories, and you know he found love. And he was supposed to be a just a normal human being, just living life, you know. But and to see that at the end, you know, for him to be to take that decision to change, to die, actually, to say to die um, in the sake of others and saving others um, that's very very courageous and very admirable admirable from uh, John Smith I loved how they made the decision for John Smith to die and be the doctor I loved how they made it a very very long process it's not an easy choice it's not just okay let's, let's just make that decision very quickly it's something that you need to, to go over and think about and um, I loved how they showed the emotions that they had and David Tennant in this episode was fantastic and I loved how he made it seem really like a life-changing decision because it was a life-changing decision and so that's why I loved it I loved how they stretched it out as much as they could um, and we got that massive piece of a, a scene at the end of him and um, the nurse I, I forgot her name but overall this two-parter, as always, with Doctor Who, it's a magnificent uh, two episodes um, from Doctor Who. I cannot wait to see now, going into the 10th and until the finale, how is this going to wrap up now? How is the season is going to wrap up? If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Torchwood and Doctor Who reactions like this one. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.